Hey Lucky, you have Mr. Yates for social studies, right? Yeah, I sure did. Why? What's up? Well, this month is Women's History Month, and every day, Mr. Yates is giving us an extra credit quiz on historical women figures. I was wondering if he did this with you, too. Now that you mention it, he did. It was really fun learning about all these amazing women and their accomplishments. I really want to get all the extra credit points I can. Plus, it's an easy way of getting an A+, and that would be great. Oh, I understand. We are overachievers. It's just who we are. I actually think I made flashcards to help me remember all the women. Let me see if I can find them for you. Really? That would be awesome! Ah, oh, look. Here they are. Would you like me to test your knowledge as it is? Yeah, quiz me. He will give us the name and we need to give some facts about them. The more facts, the better. Perfect. That's how I have the card set up. Name on the front and facts on the back. Okay, hit me with the first woman. All right, Jane Austen. Oh, I know her from my literary class. Jane Austen is a famous literary author who wrote famous books like Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility. Her writings are known to be witty, funny, and question the roles of women in society. Yup, that's Jane Austen, a writer in the late 18th century who had to publish her works anonymously and didn't receive much fame for her works while she was alive. Pause. Don't know what the word anonymous means? Well, anonymous is a person whose name is withheld. Resume. Good to know that extra bit. Who's next? This card is Anne Frank. Let's see. Anne Frank was a German-born young Jewish girl living in Amsterdam during World War II. Do I have that right so far? You sure do. Tell me more, though. She and her family hid in a home from the Nazis for years to avoid capture. While hiding, she wrote in her diary, which was published after her death. Her diary gave a great insight of this time through the eyes of a child. That's spot on, Diamond. Are you sure you need these cards? Because you are on a roll. Thanks, Lucky, but I think I'm just having good luck. I'm sure I'm going to need help on the next one. Let's see. It's Malala Yousafzai. Do you know who that is? Can you pull up her picture? That may help me. I feel like I know this one. Okay, I'll pull up the picture, but Mr. Yates won't give you any clues like this. I know, I know. Just help me jog my memory, please. Okay, here it is. She won a very prized award for her bravery. Oh, she won the Nobel Peace Prize, right? Yes, she did. Do you know any other details about her? No, I don't. Tell me what the card says, please. Malala is a Pakistani girl who spoke out against the Taliban who enforced a ban on girls attending school. In 2012, when she was 15, the Taliban shot her in the head while she was riding the bus because she spoke out about women's rights to be educated. Oh, wow, that's crazy. What happened to her next? Well, after she recovered, she won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2014 at the age of 17. She's the youngest person to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. That's pretty gutsy of her. I definitely won't forget Malala. Okay, next card. I don't think you're going to know this one. Wilma Rudolph. You're right, I don't. At least give me the category she's famous in. She is a sports figure. Okay, I have no idea. Just tell me, please. Wilma Rudolph was a world record Olympic champion in track and field. She was a three-time gold medal winner in the 1960 Olympic Games. Her achievements on the track are magnified by the fact she was very sick as a child and walked with a leg brace until she was 12. Wilma Rudolph is not an overachiever. She is a conqueror with extreme determination. Very inspiring. Okay, give me one more, please. All right, this is the last one because I've got to get back to my homework. All right, Bessie Coleman. Category, please. Aviation. Airplanes. Just tell me because I would be here all night guessing. Good, because I don't have all night with you. Bessie Coleman was the first African-American and Native American female pilot. 
She received her pilot's license in France because no American flight school would accept a woman or a black person at the time. She earned her international pilot's license and gained a lot of popularity when she returned to the States. Good for her to not let unfair rules stop her from achieving her dreams. Thanks Lucky for the flashcards and going over some of the cards with me. They will really be helpful in getting some extra credit points. Anytime, little sister. Oh, and if I remember correctly, if you tell the history of how Women's History Month came about, you get extra points too. Do you happen to know the answer? I believe it was created in 1987 when Congress declared March Women's History Month. You'll have to fact check that though. I'm sure you have it right. You usually do. Thanks again, Lucky. Let me go so you can get back to your work and I can go through these cards. Bye, Diamond, and close the door behind you, please. A gracious woman gains respect, but ruthless men gain only wealth. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 16. She is energetic and strong, a hard worker. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 17.